Imagine you are trapped in a triangular maze and you have to solve it to come out. You obviously went to the wrong place, but now you have come to the right one because I am going to teach you how to solve it. But first it is important that you understand how a triangular maze is constructed. Triangle, the simplest closed shape. Other than Bermuda Triangle and Illuminati Pyramids, triangles make up the building blocks of 3D models. They are used to create durable structures. Put together six triangles and you get hexagons. Hexagons are the bastagons. But that is the topic of our next video. So subscribing would do you a favor. Okay, we want our triangular maze to look like a triangle as a whole. This is the pattern out of which we will remove certain lines to obtain the maze. At each level we draw one more triangle than the previous one. But the gap in between two consecutive triangles in the same row is also a triangle, but it is inverted. So actually, on the topmost level, we have one triangle. On the second level, we have three triangles. And on the third level, we have five triangles and so on. In order to obtain a graph that corresponds to these triangles, we draw a circle roughly in the center of each triangle to represent this triangle as a node in our graph. Two triangles are considered to be connected if one of their boundary lines is common. Based on this information, we connect the centers of triangles or nodes in our graph to each other by drawing edges between them. The graph we obtain can be passed to an algorithm like depth first search or Kruskal's algorithm to obtain a spanning tree. Once we have a spanning tree out of this graph, we can start removing certain lines from our triangular pattern where two connected triangles are also connected in the spanning tree. We will use Kruskal's algorithm to find a spanning tree from our graph. Kruskal's is an algorithm to find a minimum spanning tree from a graph and it uses a very efficient data structure called disjoint set also known as union find. Disjoint set can join sets together really fast. It has just two operations, union and find. At the start, we have n elements, all of which are in their own sets. So they are their own root or parent. When we combine any two elements belonging to different sets, their corresponding sets also merge into a single set. To do this, we first call the find method to get the roots of both of the elements. Then we call the union method, which simply points one set's root to the other, resulting in a single set. Find takes an element and returns the parent of the set this element belongs to. And union combines the two sets by pointing the root of one set to the other. In our implementation, we are shuffling the list of edges so that we get different spanning trees each time. Here is how Kruskal's works. At the start, each node is in its own set. So for 18 nodes, there will be 18 sets. We pick edges one by one from our graph. If both nodes on the sides of an edge are not in the same set, union the two sets which is like creating a connection between the two nodes. Otherwise skip this edge because if both nodes are already in the same set, applying union operation will create cycles in the final spanning tree. In our spanning tree which is an adjacency list, we add this information about a connection between these nodes for both of them separately because this is an undirected graph where an edge connects nodes both ways. We are using Turtle Python library to draw this maze. We start at the top point of our triangular pattern. For each triangle we draw its base first. So we come down for this level. At each level we only draw the even index triangles because the gaps between consecutive triangles create an inverted triangle which does not need to be explicitly drawn. Then we check in our spanning tree if the current cell or triangle is not connected to its child triangle, that is the inverted triangle just below it in the next level. If they are not connected, we draw the bottom line for the current triangle by calling pen down method and then moving forward. We check the same while drawing the right side of the triangle. While drawing the left side, we also check whether this is the first triangle of the first level or the last level because we want to skip the left sides of these specific triangles to serve as entrance and exit to our maze. Let's start drawing.
By the way, the shape of our final maze depends a lot on the algorithm we used. The maze on the left was generated by Kruskal's and the one on the right was generated using depth first search. Let's continue drawing. Please consider subscribing.